Well, PRISA is a multilingual education project and our work for many years has been on trying to transform the way children experience learning to read and write, to make it as enjoyable and um, interesting as possible so that they want to um, become readers and writers. Right. So what challenges do you meet in your daily work? We have many challenges. Um, we are a very diverse society with lots of, of, of divisions and so one of the main ones is that we don't have enough reading material in the languages that children speak. So one of our challenges is to make sure that we can produce enough interesting and inspiring stories for the children. Um, we also have problems with the fact that many adults haven't had chances to read stories as they grew up as children. So we need to help adults to experience the power of story for themselves so that they can pass it on to children. So why is that so important? Well, we're all storytellers as human beings. Storytelling is how we make sense of our lives and so we want children to be imaginative, we want them to be critical, empathetic and to do that they need to experience heroes, villains, problems, how different people solve problems in different, in different circumstances and at the moment in, in our school system children don't have much access to such stories. So we feel that if we can um, give children those opportunities, they will be better able to make the kind of decisions they need to make as they grow up and, and they'll be more critical citizens in the future. But what do you think is the main key to Prais's successful work? Price has been very determined, we've been very focused, we've, we've operated from a series of principles I guess, we, we use theory to inform our practice and I guess we're pretty obsessive, we, we, we really really know what we think needs to happen and for decades now we've been working along the same path trying out different things and and ultimately I think it's paid off that perseverance and that desire to really solve problems I think. So how do you look upon the future? The future, the future is is um, looking pretty positive for our work now because you know Nali Bali which is the national reading campaign is a very hopeful um, process. It gives people in communities where life is tough, it gives them something very positive to do with their children and, and, and it allows adults from all walks of life to become involved and to contribute positively. So I think that now with, um, with the affirmation that Alma gives us, it will help us to convince others that what we're doing is really valuable and they will join us. So I think that we're set to grow.